If you knew that you would die at some unknown point within the next few months, would you live your life any differently leading up to it? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-4975. Time's up. Let's begin. Item number SCP-4975. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4975 is to be contained in a standard steel containment cell. Human contact with SCP-4975 is prohibited. In case of a containment breach, any Foundation personnel persistently hearing a rhythmic cracking noise are to isolate themselves from other people and patiently wait until SCP-4975 is put back in its containment chamber, or the cracking stops. Description SCP-4975 is a vaguely humanoid entity with various avian attributes, the most notable of which is its beak. Its body structure is long and thin overall, and its limbs taper off into formless extremities, lacking distinct digits. A thick, hardened skin layer covers the entirety of its body, including its beak. Its cervical vertebrae are not interconnected and appear to be able to move independently of one another. SCP-4975 continuously rotates them one vertebrae at a time, from back to front ending with its head in a rhythmic fashion. This produces a clicking or cracking sound with each movement. SCP-4975 only stops moving its neck in this manner when it is preparing for an attack. SCP-4975 has been observed to stalk future victims for extended periods of time before finally deciding to attack, sometimes as long as 10 months or more. It kills its victims by means of its appendages, which it uses to bludgeon and tear at the victim's body. It will always eat the cadaver afterward, and an average adult human appears to last it about three months. SCP-4975 is thought to be the subject of multiple folk tales from Germany, its country of origin. Evidence of SCP-4975 dates as far back as 1538, with both written and visual artistic depictions of it having been uncovered from that time period. There are also multiple German nursery rhymes that are thought to concern SCP-4975, one of which can be found in Addendum 4975b. Despite 4975's permanent presence in its containment cell, New incidents and sightings continue to be reported from its region of origin. Investigation by Foundation operatives is currently underway. Investigation discontinued indefinitely. Reclassification of SCP-4975 to Keter class currently pending. See Addendum 4975-A. Addendum 4975-A. The following event log details the contents of a video captured by the body cam of one of the Foundation operatives investigating recent SCP-4975 related reports near the Black Forest, Schwarzwald, Germany. No audio was recorded. Log of September 16, 2002 Forward. Foundation operatives were investigating a Freiburg citizen who had told local law enforcement that he had been hearing a rhythmic clicking noise for over four months and that someone was stalking him. The operatives had taken him into their custody and told law enforcement that he experienced paranoia and auditory hallucinations due to side effects of the chemotherapy he was receiving at the time as a cover-up. The following was recorded on the day they had ordered the man to show them where he had last seen SCP-4975. Several armed Foundation operatives are walking in a wooded area. One can be seen talking into a handheld transceiver. A Freiburg citizen is among them. He appears to be out of breath and nervous, looking around frantically and clutching his arms to his chest. After a few minutes go by, he freezes in place. He says something and points towards a tree. Some of the operatives turn to see what he's looking at. They appear confused. There is nothing behind the tree visible on camera. The man seems to panic and stumbles backwards, still pointing at nothing. Note. According to surveillance footage, at this exact time, SCP-4975 had stopped rotating its neck and was instead staring motionless at the southeastern corner of its containment cell. Suddenly, the local man is forcibly thrown to the ground. He is struck multiple times in the head and torso by an unseen aggressor. Several operatives fire at the presumed source of the attack, but hit nothing. 
One attempts to grab the man and drag him away, but a large wound starts appearing on his midriff from where he seems to be anchored. The operative gives up after attempting to move the man only further tears open the wound. The operative talking into the handheld transceiver then raises his firearm and shoots the local man in the head, killing him. After a few moments, strips of flesh start to get ripped off the dead body one by one. Once the strips are completely detached from the body, they vanish. Note, at this time, SCP-4975, which had not been fed, appeared to be eating. End log. Addendum 4975-B, an old nursery rhyme from Germany, believed to be about SCP-4975. It has lost most of its rhyming scheme due to being translated from German. Tick tock, the cuckoo clock ticks. Cuckoo, the bird inside sings. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock talk, tick, talk. As ticks the time, so ticks your heart. May you live long as you hear its song. Tick, talk, tick, talk, tick, talk, tick, talk. Listen close for when it stops, the hatchling comes out of its home. Tick, talk, tick, talk, tick, talk, tick. Did you hear it? Did it stop? My child, it meant your time was up. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, you could click over here for another video I made, or you could click over here to subscribe. And if you have any other SCP ideas that you want to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.